Well, I'm public disgrace, and I'm going to do some tan of sugary. And one of the things I wanted to bring to your attention was a little device I created for soaking the tatami or moting mats. Uh, this is just the regular uh, tube the pipe with a stopper. Get these at Home Depot. These are about uh, five and a half dollars. And I've got it at each end. And of course, here's the can of sugary, I mean, here's the uh, tatami that I've prepared. You just roll it up tightly. I put rubber bands on it. And I drop it in the tube, I fill it with water, and then I soak it for about 24 hours. This particular tatami is pretty tough, so I soak it for a little more than 24 hours. So this tube, still full of water, kind of heavy. But, as you can see, I have one of these stoppers at both ends. Just plain old PVC pipe. So now, the stems I made, and uh, I keep a pool noodle over the spike, kind of let people know there's a spike here, and a little safety measure. So now, I'm going to fix the tatami on the spark, hopefully. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get on, but... Now I'll let it drain. I normally let my tatami drain for about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. Brace. Hello, I'm Public Disgrace, and now we're ready to do some cutting. This is my Sword of War, made by Albion. Uh, this is an Oak Shot Type 12A. The blade is about 37 and uh, half inches. So as I said, this is known as the Sword of War. You can use it with one hand from horseback, or you can use it with two hands on foot. So, we've let the tatami omote drain for about 20 minutes. So let's get started and see what kind of uh, cutting we have. Pretty good cutting in anybody's book. I really enjoyed that. 